Hello, welcome to the video on formatting sheets, naming cells, naming sheets, show hide. Open the attached file, please. And if you notice, it's always nice when you open a, a brand new workbook to look at what's available, how many worksheets there are. If you look at quarter sales, so quarter sales for the fourth quarter would be October, November, December. And if you look at version one versus version two, they look pretty much the same. I think um, the only thing that I see different is um, row two seems a little bit wider, but everything else seems the same. So we're going to refer to just doing things um, different from one version on another. So that's why we have two of the same. So what happens if for some reason um, you didn't want the regions to show on the on the printed document or if you're sharing the file with someone? Um, you don't want to, if you hover over the column heading and click when you see the solid arrow pointing down, it selects the entire arrow, the entire, entire column. And if you press the right arrow, click, click the right arrow, the right mouse, you, um, you could delete, but if you delete it, you're going to lose it. So what you could choose instead is hide. So as you can see, it's, it's temporarily gone. If we went to file print, it doesn't show up. Um, how do you know that something's missing? If you look at your letters, A, B, there's no C, and you should see the double arrows there that there is C in there. There's two ways to get it back. You could just hover between those two double arrows and double click, and you could get it back. Or, I'm going to hide it again, if you select both B and D, you have to select the before and the after columns, and then choose unhide and you get it back. And the same would be if you wanted to um, hide a few of the, the um, rows, select what you want, right click and hide. And again, they're gone and you can see the numbers and the double dash that they're back, uh, that they're missing. So you can double click or, and it's one at a time, or select both the first one and the one in between the last one and then unhide and you get them all back. So that's un show hide. Um, both columns and rows. All right, so now it's time to get our totals for October, November, and December. So we'll go ahead and um, click the auto sum. So home, auto sum. It automatically knows to add to the left of it D through F. And I'm going to use my check mark. And then I'll hover and double click, and it fills them all in. And then I'll click in cell 14. I'm actually going to type. Um, total by month. And I'm going to click in December and I want to get a total here. So again, I'll use my auto sum and it automatically knows that I want to add C F3 through F13, which is perfect. Check. Um, as you can see, it's centered for some reason, but we can fix it. Um, also, it's in accounting, or actually it's in currency, and the others are in number. We'll change them all. We can do it now. Select all of your values and choose the accounting format style, and then everything is right aligned. Now what I'll have you do is select F3 through F13. Do not include the title, the total. And then click up here in the name box and then type DEC sales. So I'm just going to click away. Now, if I come over to this name box and click this arrow, when I select DEC for December sales and select it, it highlights what is considered the December sales, not the total, just the um, individual December sales. I'm just popping back into cell F14 and I can see the formula F3 through F14 and if, if I click anywhere else and I wanted to see that range that I created and I choose the name box arrow and choose December sales it selects everything. Now this one I'm going to do different. Instead of the total I'm going to select the range first, click in here and type November sales, enter and if you wanted to check it, you should have two now and then it selects the November sales. And now I'll go ahead and do the auto sum. Now notice it doesn't say 
E3 through E13 because the range is no longer called E3 to E13, it's called November sales, which is fine because it's the correct um, amount. But if you were to use your fill handle across, and if I come into here, it won't be the October, it'll copy over the November. So it says November here and here as well. So um, you just definitely be careful on how you name ranges and how you use them with the auto sum. So it's your choice how you want to do it. I'm going to do the auto sum first so that I see the range D3 to 13, D13. Um, it, they're, they're basically the same whether you see the range um, of the cell names or you see the name of the range. Well, that one said November sales. It's actually the same. So now I'll select my range and I'll go in here and this will be October. So either way, there are they are correct. This is F3 through F13. And this one was um, D3 through D13. And this one is the November sales, which is, if you wanted to double check what is the range of the November sales, it is that correct amount. So that's fine. The reason why you're getting that green rectangle, if you click it, the cell, and click the, um, it says that this formula is differs from the ones on the left to the right of it. That's all. If you wanted to, you could tell it to ignore, and then it goes away. But that's all it was telling you is they're different from either side. Uh, let me get a total in here, auto sum, and enter. So that's different ways of using, and we'll be using the name range later on, but I just wanted to share with you how to create them. You select the range and then you give it a name. So we should sort these. So always select what you want sorted. So I'm going to start with um, blue and go all the way. I don't want it to touch total by month, so make sure you don't select the column headings or the total row. And then click data, and I'm going to go into sort, and I'm doing a custom sort, because I want to sort by region first. So in here I'm going to choose to sort by region, so they'll put that in alphabetic order by region. Then I want, because you can see there's a lot of west, then I want to add a level, level and tell it to search by last name at another level in case two people have the same last name, then look at the first name. So it'll look under region first, then last name, then first name. And here we go, regions are first. When there's repeated, it's alphabetical. Last name was the same, then it went by first name. Then there's quite a few Wests, and then again it went by last name, and then first name. So that's sorting. So let's go into version two. And I just want to show you a different way to get totals here. So if I select all of October, November, December, all the way across, I get this little quick analysis, and I'm going to click that, and I'm going to choose totals. There's two sums. One is for the bottom, so it's adding them vertically, and one is horizontal. You just have to do them separately. It doesn't matter which one you do first, but I'm going to select so I get the vertical go right back to quick analysis totals and I'll choose the sum on the right and then the only one it doesn't do is the corner one so you can just do your auto sum it should be the same amount let's select everything and put it into the accounting format style and it should be the same amount and let's add a a new worksheet so I'm going to plus and we'll call it um, right now it gives us name sheet one so I'm going to right click and choose rename and call it summary and if some point you wanted to it the summary to be first you would just drag it so it's first or drag it back the middle and one more and if you want you could actually label the, um, the labels, which are the worksheet tabs, can be different colors. So if you wanted to get real fancy here so that they're all different color, um, they're t the color is turned off when you are actually currently working on it. So now we worked with... So in this exercise we hid column C. That one so it's first. And I think we brought it back, that's why it's not there. Um, again, to hide, you just click on the column heading and hide, but I'm going to put it back. You can do undo too. So that's there. We did the um, 
totals and they should match because it's the same information. This one's in alphabetic order. If you wanted to do this one in alphabetic order, we'll select everything. Do not include the totals. And it's under data and sort. Sort first by region, add a level, last name, one more level, first name. And OK. And there they are in alphabetic order. Nothing's on the summary. We're just experimenting with that. And some of the, if you notice too, that when we did, this was the quick analysis, this one, the, um, when you did the quick analysis and you chose totals and you did the bottom and then the right, it puts it in bold. So if I go back home, you can see that it's in bold. And this one, it wasn't in there. We did it manually. If you want it to match, you can also put it in bold. Thank you.